you, BJ. Oh, all brand new. Oh, a real Christian. A man worthy of respect. I'm so proud of you. All the obstacles you've overcome, all the shit talkers. It's true. Your family has been pretty terrible towards me. I'm talking about your family. <laughs> My family hasn't been shit talkers. They've been very supportive. Your mom won't stop going off about babies. Ken backs her up. KJ's been condescending as fuck, constantly talking about how many rooms are in my house. BJ, she made a mockery of us. And by Albright's, you should have owned her in that moment. We really don't have that kind of relationship. We just like to laugh and stuff. Whatever, whatever. Look, I'm just trying to help you to not be caught off guard when someone is trying to fuck you up and control you and talk shit on you. Oh, okay. Wanna know what she did? She tried to throw your family's secular humanism into my daddy's face. Hold on, she did what? I wanted to kill her. <sighs> okay, you know what? It doesn't matter because you are a saved man. And because of that, nothing can stop our rise. And I just have to say, I'm so happy that you're not gonna burn in hell now. <laughs> Whoa. You thought I was gonna burn in hell all this time, Judy? That's really disturbing. BJ, I'm saying something nice right now. You're right. I'm sorry. This is an exciting day. Mm -hmm. Let's not ruin it. The only ones who can ruin it are the ones who try to hold us back. Like your family. Nobody can hold us back. Not when I'm wearing this. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, shake that cake. I think about doing one of them natural water bursts. Oh, a very good option for some people. Uh -uh. No, 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 none of that hippie primitive stuff for me. I'm a wealthy man now. My child's gonna be born with the benefits of modern technology. Well, my mama didn't have none of that stuff when I was born. Yeah, but you was a toilet baby. Oh, yeah. A who what? A toilet baby. See, Tiffany's mom was obese. Went through her entire pregnancy without even knowing she was pregnant. Ended up pushing this one out when she sat down to do a bathroom business, just like, uh, Tiff just plopped down like a little old turd, just right down in the bowl, and big eyes like this. But it wasn't a turd, it was me. That was you. <laughs> Would you look at that? Take your baby by the hand. Make her do a high handstand. Take your baby by the heel Do the next thing that you feel We was up in face In a dance hall dance We would go on craze <laughs> when I... oh What? <laughs> Not sure why you're laughing Wait this is not a joke? You're serious? It's a onesie. Oh, it's darling. He had one of those when he was a baby. Um, it's not a onesie. It's a romper with a cummerbund. OK, a romper. Got a good little fellow. <laughs> no, don't make him giggle. Stop, stop. Just stop. Get her, BJ. Burn her to the ground. That attitude is part of what's held men back fashion-wise. Okay. There's a whole world out there to explore. It isn't just about separates. You are something else. He was very excited about his clothing. I think I might hate his ass, too. D Daddy is such an a-hole.